Hello everybody and welcome to my thought for today. When I started thinking about this, it was it was Sunday evening and I started thinking about my thought for the day. And um, as I was thinking, I, I'd been reading, I was reading through uh, Matthew 5, 14 to 16. Well known passage, but I was reading it in the message version. And I really felt quite challenged by what I was reading. Let me read it to you. Here's another way to put it. You're here to be light, bringing out the God colours in the world. God is not a secret to be kept. We're going public with this, as public as a city on a hill. If I make you light bearers, you don't think I'm going to hide you under a bucket, do you? I'm putting you on a light stand. And now that I've put you on a hilltop, on a light stand, shine. Keep open house. Be generous with your lives. By opening up to others, you'll prompt people to open up with God, this generous Father in heaven. And as I read that, as I was reading through that, I was really challenged. Am I letting my light shine right now? And I got to thinking, I got to thinking about Matthew 28, 18, the Great Commission. And let me read that to you as well. Matthew 28, I'll read it in the NL, uh, New Living, first of all. Jesus came and told his disciples, I've been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore... Go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands that I have given you. And be sure of this. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Let's look at that again in the message version. Jesus, undeterred, went right ahead and gave his charge. God authorized and commanded me to commission you. Go out, train everyone you meet, far and near, in this way of life, marking them by baptising them in the threefold name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and then instruct them in the practices that of all that I have commanded you. I'll be with you as you do this, day after day after day, right up to the end of the age. It may seem a little bit strange to think, start thinking about, well, how can I be going out there sharing my faith? How can we go and make disciples? <clears throat> we're going through COVID-19 at the moment. We're going through this, this time of lockdown and, and, and we've been shut away from people as much as anything. But I feel that the challenge God put in my heart as I read those two passages and, and again, saw them in this fresh light that, that, that I was seeing within the message version, I felt that the challenge God was putting in my heart was that COVID-19 should not be changing anything about the commission that we were given. We were given a commission to go and make disciples. That commission still stands. It doesn't matter that COVID-19 is, is active, is 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 happening all around us. It doesn't matter that the government has told us that we're in lockdown. The great commission that we were given still stands. And I was really challenged about that. I was challenged about what sort of contact am I having with people? You see, the thing is, if we start to think, oh, I can't do this now. No, I'm going to have to put it on hold. I'm going to have to put it to one side. We're losing some, well, actually, we're losing an amazing privilege and blessing that God's given us. I, I think one of the biggest one of the biggest blessings is being able to share our faith, our testimony, our story, just talk about the Lord together with people and see them respond, see the Holy Spirit touching their lives and, and start changing how they think. That's an amazing blessing. We can't let that go as Christians. That is part of our heritage and our destiny in God to be able to do that. Yes, I know sometimes we, we talk about evangelism as if it's a bit scary and, uh, and it's something difficult to do. And I agree, sometimes it feels that way. But there is still such an amazing blessing. We can be part of the work that God wants to do in the life of the people around us in bringing them through to salvation. And I don't think it's right that we let go of that. Now, hear me right, I'm not saying, I'm not advocating that we ignore all the rules and we just go out there and, and we start breaking all the rules and we break the whole thing of, 
of, of uh, the lockdown and all of that sort of stuff. But what I am saying is, and, and the thing is, I don't have all the answers. I don't, I don't have some great idea to say. But what I am saying is, I think we should be thinking about how we can do it. How can we let our light shine? How do we fulfill? At this time, right now, in the middle of the whole lockdown, COVID-19, and I know the government is starting to say, look, do some unlocking, but this isn't going to go away in five minutes. How do we right now let our light shine? How do we go and make disciples? You see, I was challenged as I was thinking about this and as I was reading it, I was challenged with these thoughts. Jesus hasn't changed. Jesus' love and compassion for that world out there has not changed and it hasn't gone away. He's definitely not rescinded his, his command, his commission to us as his children, as, his, his, as, as, as the church and as individuals to go and share the message, to go and make disciples. We're still called to that. Anyway, as I, I, was, I, I was thinking about this, writing it down, and then Monday morning I got up and blow me my reading Monday morning. I felt God really strengthened this sense that God is challenging us at this time. And this was my reading Monday morning when I got up. It was Isaiah 6, verse 8, and it says this. Then I, asked the, uh, then I heard the Lord ask, Whom shall I send as a messenger to this people? Who will go for us? I said, Here I am. Send me. I really do think that the Lord wants to challenge us at this time to expect him to continue working in us, through us, to continue working out his purposes of the Great Commission right now in the middle of COVID-19. And he's challenging us to let our light shine. So first, my challenge for this morning is simply this. Are you expecting God to use you right now? Are you expecting God moments, God opportunities to be able to share your faith, to talk about the Lord, and to see people get saved and also I just want to challenge us to start thinking about it let's think about what we can do let's think about how can God use us and let's just start expecting opportunities God to come along and give us opportunities do you know what I think God loves people enough to bring them across our path even at this time of lockdown. My challenge is, my thought for the day is, am I, are you, are we letting our light shine? Have a blessed day and uh, we'll see you again later. God bless.